welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm doing an eyeshadow declutter. Now most of these are from the drugstore. Some of them are from online stores like BH Cosmetics is also in this category as well. And I'll be honest with you, I don't reach for a whole lot of my drugstore eyeshadow palettes. The only ones that I reach for the most are the e.l.f. Cosmetics 10 pan eyeshadows. I reach for these all the time. I love the two new palettes they just came out with. I find myself wanting to use my more expensive products that get neglected, that get shoved to the side. I have a lot of indie makeup that I'm starting to accumulate as well, which I think the quality is just phenomenal. That doesn't mean that I don't think drugstore makeup isn't good, it's just I don't reach for a lot of it. So I want to really do a declutter today and I want to do it a little different. I'm just going to sit here, chill, hang out with you guys. Alright, so before we get started I have to make a little disclaimer. A little one, a little one. So please don't ask me for my used makeup. A lot of this probably needs to be tossed out. And if anything is in decent condition, it's going to go to friends and or family. If any of my cousins are watching, text me if you want some of this stuff. Let's grab a drink. Let's grab a snack. This is probably going to be a long video, you guys. And uh, let's do some decluttering. So since I have these two palettes sitting right here on my desk, um, I am keeping both of these. These are from e.l.f. Cosmetics. We have the new opposites attract palette you guys know i love this palette there's some awesome dupes in here for the subculture palette and then the recently i purchased the new classics palette which i love as well so i already know i want to get rid of these three palettes so first up we have the sony kashik grand bazaar palette this is part of the spice market color palette <laughs> that's a mouthful i never reach for it this was limited edition so you can't get this anymore um, actually the quality is really good and this is still in really good condition so I'm going to pass this along to someone else. Next up we have an eyeshadow palette from the brand Pacifica and this is the Natural Minerals Eyeshadows. I don't know what happened to this palette but there's like all of these little bumpy things that kind of look disturbing. It smells weird. I have to say, for the price of these Pacifica um, palettes, they are very expensive and you get a very small amount of product. I don't think the quality is worth it, worth the price. Yeah, she needs to go bye-bye. But what's cool about this is that it does say that you can recycle this palette, so I will definitely do that. All right, moving on, this is a palette from Pixie Beauty, and I haven't tried a whole lot from them, so I got this on clearance again, something else I got on clearance at Target. I just never reach for it, so maybe someone else can use it and love it. Alright, moving on, we have Jordana, and I really like the Jordana eyeshadow palettes. I have two of them here, and this one, uh, these are called the Made to Last eyeshadow palettes. These are actually really, really nice. For the time being, I'm going to hang on to both of them. I have this one, which is all matte. It's called Make Me Matte, and this one's called Mint Condition, so I will be keeping both of these. Alright, moving on to Milani. I feel like I go through these so many times and so many times I end up hanging on to them and you know what I never use them the only one that is like my absolute favorite that I do love the most out of the four that I have and I've already decluttered a couple other ones as well this one is called must have naturals and I just love the very kind of like neutral colors in here there's like a really nice taupe color a nice matte black I have Bare Necessities, which is a nice kind of typical uh, nude palette. Um, this one I'm going to pass along. It's still a good palette. I just don't give it enough love. Must have Metallics. So this has a lot of metallic shades in here and also a matte black. Um, but I just, I never, I never reach for this and it is extremely messy. So we're getting rid of that one. I feel really bad because I think that they're, they're decent quality palettes, but again, I just, I need to, I need to condense this down. Um, so I'm going to keep this one because it's mostly matte shades. And this is the Everyday, uh, sorry, Basic Mattes Palette. All right, moving on to Essence. I do have a few of their eyeshadow palettes. The first one I'm definitely keeping. This is a recent purchase and I am obsessed. This is such a good palette, guys. This is the Spice Up Your Life eyeshadow palette. This is just the most beautiful, warm, fall deliciousness. Um, I've done a full review on this and tutorials, so definitely go check those videos out. But this is just 
gorgeous. This one right here is a face and eye palette and I will be keeping this one as well. Um, I feel like the quality is pretty good. I really like the two highlighters in here. And I believe this is in the shade 02, Rise and Shine. The other palette that I am going to keep is the Essence All About Grays eyeshadow palette. Very smoky palette. I love the grays in here, the taupe, the white. Um, this one I am definitely going to keep. I need to pull this out and do like some looks with it because it's really a good little palette. Now these two, I'm going to pass along. They're not bad, but like I've mentioned before in the past, these just are super soft and a little too soft for me because I like a little bit of drama. So this is the Nudes palette. Um, these have been barely used, by the way. I mean, I have used them, but I'm going to give those to someone else that will use them. And these are just really easy to wear shades. This is the All About Roses palette. Really nice purple mauve tones in here. Getting rid of those, and I'm going to keep three. Okay, my basket is really filling up, so we are already getting rid of those palettes there. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're on a roll. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, so I'm pretty much going to keep all of these 10 pan eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to go through all of them. You guys have seen me talk about these so many times, but I'm pretty much keeping all of them. All right, these two I'm getting rid of. Now, these are not the same as these. These are actually the Prism eyeshadow palettes. Uh, these are very old, and once again, I never use them. Uh, this is the Smoke palette, and the other one is called Naked. Now, there's actually a lot of dupes in here for Urban Decay eyeshadows. So if you like really shimmery colors, bye-bye. So pulling this out, I just reminded myself that I have a lot of the e.l.f. Cosmetics beauty books. You guys remember those when I did like a series where I did a inspired Disney character look? Oh God, <laughs> oh, avoid the horror. No, those are actually really fun to do. Um, but I have one of the Elsa palettes here. This was like separate collection. And I think I'm going to keep it, even though I don't really reach for this anymore, but it does have Elsa on the front, and this is definitely a collector's item. I'm going to keep it. All right, I have three of the, I think these are called the Clay, something Clay, something Clay eyeshadow palettes. They're really cute and small. They look like this, and I have three of them. I did declutter, I think, one of them from my last declutter, but I am going to keep these because I think they're great, cute little travel eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Yeah, I just, I don't really reach for it as much as the other two. So necessary nudes, we're gonna pass her along. All right, these two are actually new to my collection. I don't think I've mentioned them yet. These are the new Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow Trios. So it's just a little trio. So there's three shades in each. I have this one in Rose All Day. This came free, actually, with a purchase a while back. Love, the formula is actually really nice and they are silky. Smoke showstopper and this one of course drew me in because it's more of a cool toned palette and i love a good gray so this is a nice smoky palette and i have used it and it's really nice as well so i will be keeping those but this is called the smoky matte palette and i'm not saying that it's a bad palette but i just i never reach for it, it has a really nice mirror it's very bulky though the packaging is very bulky all right, so I almost forgot about these, and you know what, you guys? I forgot to mention this in my last I should have palette declutter, so I do apologize because I have these stored on a shelf in my closet, kind of like towards the back of my closet, so that's why I completely forgot about these. So you guys remember a while back, Elf was doing their um, beauty books, and I have quite a few of them, <laughs> and I have collected them over the years, and I don't think they're doing them any longer. And I just love pulling these out once in a while just to look at. I don't technically use them anymore, although I probably should. So that is everything from e.l.f. All right, moving on. I have only one eyeshadow palette from NYX Cosmetics. I know. That's the only one I have. So again, this is kind of in the category of face and eyes, but I guess I'll just include it. This is the go-to palette. And again, you get, you get uh, a bunch of shadows, a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. Everything is so pigmented, really good quality. I'm going to be keeping this. I'm pretty sure it's still available. All right, moving on. I have only one eyeshadow palette from Sleek Cosmetics. They actually sent this to me forever ago, and it's definitely the only thing, like, eyeshadow-wise that I have from them, and it's a really good quality palette. Mine is pretty beat up and gross looking, so really easy to wear colors, nothing, like, too crazy. It's not my favorite eyeshadow formula ever, but 
I at least want to have one thing from Sleek Cosmetics. I actually would like to try more from them, but yeah, that's all I have. So I'm going to hang around to this for just right now. All right, you guys, are you ready? We're going to go through the most difficult brands. This one is really hard for me because I have a lot of Wet n Wild little tiny eyeshadow palettes. And do I really need to keep them? Because again, the collector in me is wanting to hang on to every single little Wet n Wild palette because a lot of the things here are limited edition. Do you guys remember these? Yeah. Yeah, it really takes me back. I have used these in, I think, one tutorial I did a while back using the bright pastels in here. And they really are beautiful shadows. So this is hard. I really don't want to get rid of them. This one I could probably let go of because I don't really wear pink eyeshadows and these are just straight up pink. So you know what? <gasps> I'm going to let go of that one. Honestly, I don't think I can part with these four. So I'm going to be keeping these. I know it's really hard you guys. Th this is where I struggle with the wet and wild stuff. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. All right, right off the bat, I'm going to get rid of this palette here. This is back when the Fergie collection was alive and kicking. Uh, this is called the Center Stage Collection Photo Focus Studio Eyeshadow Palette in Milano Collections. I believe this has been repackaged, and I think you can get this. But, And I think the quality is actually really good. Um, I just never reached for it. Um, this needs to go. So this one I am keeping. This is the Au Natural Palette in Nude Awakening. I love this one. I need to get this one back out again. Really nice kind of rosy mauve tones in here. I have to play around with both of these because it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure in my review I did on the new eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild, I preferred the original formula, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna hang on to both of these for the moment and then maybe eventually I will decide on which one to get rid of because I really don't need both of these. I already know for sure I'm keeping these ones right here. So I have the original, the OG Comfort Zone palette. And these three are the new eyeshadow palettes and I love this formulation. I think it's fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna go through my three pan eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. We have Knock on Wood. So I am gonna keep this one. We have Velour Vixen. Again, these are from different collections. I don't even remember um, off the top of my head right now. Uh, this one is really nice as well. These two, make a beautiful eye look together. So I'm gonna keep these two so I can use them together. We have the OG Original Silent Treatment and I'm keeping this for sure. This is another one of my favorites. I can't remember, I think this came out with a fall collection. It's called Plaid to the Bone. This top shade here is everything. I regret not buying a backup just for this shade alone. This palette is awesome. Awesome. All right, these two can go. This was from some sort of collection, Sweetheart's collection around Valentine's Day or something. This little stack here. Now these are the, let's see, one, two, three. These are the four pan eyeshadow palettes. So probably my favorites were from the Flights of Fancy collection, limited edition, of course. This one is in Hosta La Costa Baby. I really love the purple and the blue in here. They are really, really good. And the other one is called Flock party, I mean, flock party, I love birds. And these also were fantastic. This one can go, I did not like this one. This is called Petalette. And it has purples, and now don't get me wrong you guys, you know I love purple eyeshadows, but I just found the quality of this one to be, eh, not that great. I like the transition color, but that's it. This is another one, the Stop Ruffling My Feathers, again, I'm gonna keep this one because I loved that collection. Was amazing. Again, that's from the Flights of Fancy. All right, next up we have Walking on Eggshells. I did not like this. I don't like the colors in here. I'm gonna get rid of it. Boom! Woo! We're going right through it. Sweet as candy, getting rid of her. Silent Treatment, I love these types of colors. And even though I do have the OG original, I actually do like this one as well. Okay, we have Hooked on Vinyl and Lights Out. I actually really like both of these. Oh man, this is bad, you guys. I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good on this one. <laughs> All right, guys, last but not least, I have one, two, three, four, five, six little palettes. Now these ones are the one, two, three, four. These are the five pan eyeshadow palettes. I don't think Wet n Wild sells these anymore. This is really hard because these two palettes here were from a 
fall collection forever ago that I loved so much from Wet n Wild. We have Smoke and Melrose and Melrose at Night. These are so good. Look at the colors. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my gosh. I've hit, I've I've went through these so many times and I just I've never been able to part with them. Ah, oh, man, I just can't do it. Okay. This one is High Waisted Jeans. Look at the colors, you guys. I think I, I actually decluttered cluttered this in the past and then I put it back in my collection. <laughs> Oops. This one I'm going to get rid of because I feel like the quality is a little bit different. Art in the Streets. And it just has a bunch of bright colors. Now they are, they're all, they're okay, but I never reach for this one. So I only got rid of one of those. That's really not good. And I'm also keeping all of these. Oh gosh, I'm not doing good. When it comes to Wet n Wild and Elf, I struggle. <laughs> Let's continue. So I only have a few palettes from Makeup Revolution and also Obsession, something new as well. I'll mention in a second here. So of course the Emily Noel, the uh, Emily Edit, the Once palette. I am keeping, I love this palette. I think it's phenomenal. Um, I believe this is back in stock now. So if you guys are interested in getting this palette, I did do a few looks of this palette, also a review. It is massively huge, but it's actually fantastic. I just, I need to pull this out again. I've been loving it, can't put it down. I also have these two palettes as well from Makeup Revolution, and we have the, this is called the Reloaded Division palette, and this one really drew me in. I actually picked this up at Ulta for like seven bucks, and this one is cruelty-free and vegan as well. Uh, this one reminded me a lot of the Subculture palette, right? I mean, you've got like mustard, yellows, greens, you got like a gold. I'm gonna keep this one for right now because I really do love these types of colors and it's kind of hard to find eyeshadow palettes like this. This one is cruelty free and vegan as well. This is called the Fierce as Fire palette. I was trying to search all over the internet for this and I don't know why, but I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know if this is just like some sort of special, because I actually received this free when I ordered, when I ordered the Emily Edit palette, this came with it free. They have some kind of special deal. So I actually don't know if you can buy this palette. So I'm kind of on the fence if I want to keep it or just pass it along because it's actually brand new. I have swatched a couple with my fingers, but that's it. And then the last one here, this is from Obsession. It's sort of an extension of Makeup Revolution because I did order this from their site. And this is the new Belle Jordan eyeshadow palette. I did do a kind of like review, my thoughts, and a tutorial. Look how beautiful this palette, you guys, is so flipping gorgeous. Look at her. But this palette is beautiful and yes, I am keeping it. It is a new purchase and I love it. So this palette was actually through like PR or whatever. Um, this is from Deck of Scarlet. It's like a subscription service and they work with beauty influencers to create like palettes. It's really interesting. Uh, so I don't know if this falls in the category of like drugstore, indie, indie makeup. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. So I'm going to include it in this video. but. Here's the palette. This is actually the Belle Jordan palette, actually. How funny is that? I've got this one and this one, both from Belle Jordan. What I love what this company does is I like that there's a separate section and cover for where your lip products are. And then on this side, you've got your eyeshadows, your blush, and your highlighter. So you keep your lip products separate and they don't get all nasty. Love this palette. Definitely keeping it. I need to pull it back out again because it's actually really really good quality i was really surprised all right let's move on to bh cosmetics you guys know i love bh they have so many affordable cruelty free amazing products so this one i already know i'm going to keep it is the blushed neutrals 26 color eyeshadow and blush palette you guys know i've raved about this for so long ah <sighs> look at her she's just beautiful fantastic love the blushes along the bottom these colors are really nice and warm this one i'm also keeping this is the Foiled Eyes number one palette. I mean, you get every color of the rainbow and I can't tell you how many times I've reached for this palette using something else and I want like a pop of shimmer. It's amazing. Never getting rid of that. Love it. This one is called the Modern Mattes. I believe they still sell this. I'm not entirely sure. I do really like the colors in here, but I find that the formula, I don't know if the formula changed or maybe it's just me. I don't know you guys. But I feel like this is just old and it's kind of like 
they're crumbly they're kind of chalky like the brights are bright but it's that really chalky powdery texture this one I'm also gonna I'm probably gonna keep <laughs> I'll probably keep both of these for the moment uh, this one I was thinking of getting rid of but then I pulled it out one day and oh my gosh wow I think I did a Instagram live get ready with me essential eyes palette very neutral but oh my goodness the colors it looks boring right it looks boring in the pan but when you put them on the eyes it's so pretty it's still available so I can still use it this one's going I the quality is just so bad I, I just didn't like it this is the marble collection the warm stone palette now some people really like this but I just think the quality is just not that great she needs to go bye bye so this is one of the baked eyeshadow palettes. It's called Wild and Free. Really cute packaging. I actually really like this palette. I pulled this out recently, did a look, and it was very comparable to the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. I really love the greens in here and the blue. They're just so, so pretty. Um, this formula is really nice. They're baked, and I'm not the biggest fan of baked eyeshadows and baked products, but Beach Cosmetics, they do a really good job at their baked shadows keeping all right this one I think I'm actually going to get rid of because I loved it in the beginning but now I don't really love it anymore this is the Shannon XO nine color lipstick palette and eyeshadow palette I if I could go back in time I would totally skip on this and maybe wait and purchase the one because she released a new one that has all eyeshadows instead of the lipsticks but honestly I never reached for it it's not a bad palette I just I just never use it and it's just not my favorite anymore so I'm going to pass it along. Alright this one I am going to keep. This was in my Pan That Palette Challenge which I failed. <laughs> I'll link the video down below if you guys want to check it out. But this is the Dark Rose Palette. Um, this is no longer available unfortunately. Um, it's an okay palette. I do like some of the shades in here and the blushes are actually really nice. But uh, yeah just for a collector standpoint I do want to keep this one. Alright guys, we only have three left and I am actually keeping all three of these. We have the two Carly Bible palettes, which honestly are my favorite. Actually, these last three are my favorite from BH. We have the original Carly Bible uh, palettes. We have eyeshadows and highlighters. And this is the Deluxe Edition palette. I'm just going to show you really briefly. You guys know I've raved about this for the past like year or more. <laughs> but again, you got beautiful highlighters eyeshadows I believe this was discontinued which is so sad because this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes and collabs in my opinion I just love the colors in here the, this highlighter is so icy and beautiful so definitely keeping you guys know this is probably one of my most used most loved palettes and last but not least we have the zodiac palette and I know that they just recently released a zodiac 2 which honestly the colors in there are not really jumping out at me because they're very very warm so this is what it looks like I've done three looks one palette using this I've done a review it's just a really good uh, it's just beautiful I mean you really can't go wrong all right guys so that is everything that was my eyeshadow palette declutter lots of drugstore lots of kind of you know BH cosmetics is kind of drugstore as well because you can now find it at Ulta I've even seen it at Target so I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new here to the channel I'd love to have you I hope you guys feel inspired to do a little declutter and before the new year approaches 2019 it's coming it's almost here that is everything I will catch you all in the next video remember smarter beauty is better beauty bye guys mm -hmm.